minute long poem about Queen Elizabeth II being the arse end of a pantomime horse. <laughs> they love me, they adore me, I'm a national treasure, I'm everything to them, I give them hope, I'm an embodiment of hope. I'm going to shake my rump, thought Queen Elizabeth II, as she sweated vigorously and unapologetically in the arse of a fabric horse. A chorus of laughter and applause and cheers echoed in her ears. She is the arse of a horse. They really love that rump shake. Maybe I should do it again. Or would that be an excess? I'd really, really love to shake my rump again, thought Queen Elizabeth II, as her dedication to her art wrestled dangerously with her want to please. I'm going to do it. I want to do it. They want me to do it. They love me. I'm here to save them from themselves, from the mundanity of themselves. Just sweet, the emancipator of ennui and humdrum. <laughs> thought Queen Elizabeth II as she braced and tensed her legs, preparing to wiggle her very old arse for the love of her people. Her cheek twitched as she smiled in anticipation. Her arse cheek twitched. The Queen's arse cheek twitched. Queen Elizabeth II's arse cheek twitched. She was ready. Jeers, boos, hisses, jeers, boos, hisses, jeers, boos, hisses, rising to a crescendo of hatred and scorn, each sound like a relentless arrow to the heart and not a single one misses. They pierce her soul, confound her brain, each one cutting her resolve to wiggle her ancient ass again. <laughs> I haven't even done it yet, she pleaded silently, please. I'm sorry, it was too much, I knew it was too much, she whimpered without a sound, her face pressed against the cushion of Dave's arse cheeks. He couldn't forgive her for this. How could he? He made a hole, they were one together, but he couldn't save her, now no one could. What the fuck were you thinking, Liz? <laughs> self-indulgence, that's all it was, silly, silly self-indulgence. You didn't even do it and they still hate you for it, for considering it. Damn it, Liz, I hate you, they hate you, they love the idea of you, but they hate you. You can never understand your people, you can never understand their art, you can never understand what it's like to be loved as a person, not a figure from afar, because you're not a person, you're not real, you're an idea, you're a figure, you're an icon, you're a figment of what they want you to be. You're nothing, Liz, I fucking hate you, you're shit, you're nothing. Fuck you. Liz wept and wept and wept and wept and wept and wept and cried. She was broken inside, her very being was fractured, her fickle sense of self-worth shattered by their rapture. Like a hapless child shooting cats with an air gun, they seemed to revel in her pain and wouldn't halt for a second in their menacing chorus of joyful disdain. But then Liz began to tune her ears. She began to hear beyond the cacophony of hatred and she heard something, a laugh, a cackle. A bellowing malicious cackle coming from the stage next to her, an evil laugh. A baddie. Liz wiped the tears from her eyes on Dave's arse cheeks. Her soul that had been ripped sharply in twain began to patch itself together again. A scab of relief reaching and growing to cover the wound that had exposed the wafer thin vulnerability of her self esteem. The baddie was on stage next to her. They don't hate me, thought Queens of the Second. They hate the baddie. They hate the horrible, horrible man, that little bastard. That's who they hate, not me. And all of a sudden, Queen Elizabeth II's spirits began to float out of the deep swampish crevices of her heart. She trusted them again. Could I? She thought. But she didn't think for long. The urge had taken over. Her desire too much. She swung her hips like she had never swung them before. She swung her hips from Nike and in a frenzy, side to side, cheek to cheek, side to side, cheek to cheek. Her grin, her wiggle, her entire body trembled. Her smile stretched from cheek to cheek. Her really old ass wobbled cheek to cheek. Her head spun as her body jerked. She shook her rump. She shook her rump. She shook her rump. She shook her rump. She, her rump. she knew love again. <laughs> I am here for you. I am one of you. I understand you. She shut her eyes tightly. A bead of sweat and a single tear rolled down her cheek as she smiled. She never wanted this moment to end. She never wanted to leave her fabric sanctuary. 
because she was the arse of a horse. And she was happy.